Fox 2's Jessica Dupont joins us live with more on how the church community is coming to her help. Jessica. Mm, this poor woman, we'll get to that in a minute, but this church, Northridge in Plymouth, they've been doing this uh, Christmas performance for 31 years, never had anything like this. So this happened last Thursday at the church in the auditorium. It was packed, about 3,000 people. They were just rolling into performing a silent night when the mood changed and flames uh, erupted on the stage. About 32,000 people show up over the two weekends that we do it. The crown jewel of the Christmas season at Northridge Church in Plymouth, the annual Christmas performances. We were going into our second act and everything was just as good as gold. Ann King, who plays Mrs. Claus, says all of the sudden during Silent Night last Thursday, the serene scene turns to chaos. <laughs> Flames erupt on the risers where 44 year old Sandy Springstead stood singing. A candle accidentally left there, lit her gown on fire, and she went up in seconds. Burns on 30% of her lower body. You have all the safety protocols in place, and then something like this, this freak accident, and you, it's so hard to take it in. You just. You just kind of go numb. Church security jumped in and put out the fire, putting the show on pause as she was rushed to the University of Michigan Hospital, suffering third degree burns. The show went on that night. We tried to interview everybody we could to find out, you know, where the where this happened, how this happened, and um, it just appeared to be human error. Jim King with Northridge Church says one of the pastors was by Sandy's side in the hospital, said she was more upset about missing the rest of the show. He finished the prayer and she looked at him and she said, you know, it sucks. I can't finish the glory of Christmas this year. She'll be in the hospital for weeks, possibly through Christmas. Those severe burns requiring skin grafts. I just finished my praying. I looked at him and I said, we got to do a GoFundMe page for Sandy. I said she's going to need funds uh, for her family, and this is going to be a rough Christmas. That GoFundMe page is up and running as of this evening, just about $12,000 raised, but uh, she's going to be off work for a while. And remember, Sandy does have a family, and of course, it's Christmas. If you would like to donate, the link to that GoFundMe page will be on our website. Reporting live, Jessica Dupnak on The Edge. Now, we know that community in Plymouth, they're so tight knit. People are going to definitely uh, pitch in and try to help this woman. 30% of her body. Yeah, I know that the Monday morning quarterbacking is easy, but a candle on stage, perhaps in the future, other people also think to use, uh, you know, one of those uh, battery operated candles and set or something, because this certainly can't happen again. Exactly, Roop. We asked if they were going to change maybe some of the policies. This was, in fact, the last year they were going to do this specific performance. But you better believe the church is definitely learning from this freak accident. They will put even more safety protocol into future presentations.